What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Well, it has been a while guys, yes I know I took a week off from this game. Well, we needed to finish up Pokemon Fire Red, and I guess we, we did a pretty good job. So now, all of our attention is right here in Emerald, and in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, so... Yeah, we're gonna get some stuff done, and well, of course, we're gonna get a call from Bernie. And, uh, yeah, she's losing. Ha! Huh. Never mind! And, of course, we gotta repel. Anywho, in our last few episodes, we managed to do a lot of things. I mean, for crying out loud, we caught a new Pokemon. Actually, we traded for a new Pokemon and evolved a crap ton of Pokemon. And, yeah, you gotta love this whole getting attacked by Pokemon right here. Look at this, Pelipper, level 26. Well, guess what? I got myself a Pelipper, too. Too bad, I'm not gonna use them. So, we're gonna be switching it off right here. Okay, so, let's see. What do we have here? Now, let's, let, 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 let's, let's put this in perspective, guys. We have a full team, and I've been going back and forth with what Pokemon should I switch up next, or what should I do, but right now it just seems like it's a little balanced. I really do. And uh, would you look at this? We got the we got the fairly odd parents right here, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go with Joust right here. Get both Team Magma and Team Maka ready. And of course she remembers me, yes, we are a lot stronger. So, it is finally time to kick some butt. Take some names. Here we are digging on interviewer, interviewer Gabby and Ty. I used to think that was a B until it was a Y. So, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Digging on these two individuals. Let's go with an Ember attack right here. And, well, I kind of want to go for a Surf attack. But in this game, I believe we start off with, uh, I think it hits everybody. So, yeah, I kind of don't want to quad damage uh, Vesuvius right here. So, here comes an Ember attack. And just like that. Magnemite has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Jaws kicking some butt. Venom getting some uh, points. And here comes an uproar. Holy crud. Now, I'm playing this off of, uh, you know, I'm going a little easy with the, with these Pokemon. And I'm actually just going on a regular speed right here because, well, you know, I don't want to talk a little bit, guys. I missed you. I missed you all. You know, playing Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff. And, well, <laughs> that was an intense battle. And, yes, we did get it on, get it on camera. So, of course, after we defeated uh, Gabby and all that stuff, we have to talk about our battle yet again. So we actually have to describe what exactly we felt. So let's see. Hmm. Actually, let's go with the feelings. And, well, not disappointed because I think that would be bad. I would say disaster, but it would be because of them. They'd still be... <laughs> they, they, they would still be, like, excited about that. So... Let's go right ahead, and, well, let's go with surprise right here. It was a surprise. Not really. It's a surprise that we're here. Okay. So, yes, it was a surprise, and she will be seeing us. Okay. So, any of you guys, in this episode right here, we're going to be going through route, routes 118 and 119 all the way to the Weather Institute. Now, if you guys can see right here, this individual will be giving you a good rod. Yes, it is awesome. Now, the good rod is good for some other Pokemon. I believe one of them happens to be Sharpedo's uh, pre-evolutionary and all that crud, but, you know, I couldn't wait. And don't forget this stone right here. We get ourselves an iron. This is awesome. And, well, we gotta start battling everybody else right here. And yes, we're gonna be doing some speed battling because, well, kinda need to. We has to. Alright, bring it on. I'm a fisherman, but I'm also a trainer. I'm raising Pokemon I can't. Okay, alrighty. So, here we go, taking on Fisherman Barney, not the dinosaur, and he's coming out with a tentacle. So let's go ahead and speed this up right here. Dragon Claw, yes, Dragon Claw again. We are confused, but it doesn't matter, because we won. Let's go with Sage of the Halo right here, and Leaf Blade, this Pokemon. And just like that, we win. You see, speed battling, it's always awesome. Okay, so let's see. I think there's another spot right here where you can actually find an item, right? No. Okay, go up north right here, and you're going to see Steven Stone, and he's going to be like, Hi, Draven. It's me, Steven. We met uh, We met in the cave near Dooford. Have you uh, Have you met any kinds of Pokemon since I last met you? There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in the wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. 
perhaps you would find it more uh, fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. As a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. Yeah. Coming from the guy that only trains skill to Pokemon. Yeah. But then again, his other Pokemon are different levels and or different kinds of Pokemon. Anywho, uh, yeah, let's go right ahead and use repels right here because, yeah, I definitely don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, we got quite a few po Pokemon trainers right here, but before we do any of that stuff, we're going to go to Route 123. 123, and going to go right behind here. And I think there's, no, not right there. There should be an item right here. And, huh. There should be an item right here. Probably. I don't even know. Okay, so that's not a success. Our repeller has worn off. Thanks to regular repels. And, uh, well, we should probably get our Pokemon ready for battle right here. Not this guy. Why did I do that? Okay. Let's go with, uh, Jose. Let's give Dulcim a, a little bit of love. Remember in the last episode, guys, how Dulcim was becoming an issue until he evolved? Yes. It was a big issue. And then, bam. Okay, so here we go. Doug Owen in into a double battle. And here we have a cool trainer and a bug catcher. And, well, they're going to be coming out with some pretty cool Pokemon right here. Look at this. I want one of those Pokemon. You got Pinsir and Absol right here. So, actually, let's go with an Ember attack. Why am I being dumb? And high jump kick on this Pokemon. As many of you guys already know, yes, I've had Pokemon Emerald before. I did capture myself in Absol. I remember playing Pokemon Sapphire and looking at Absol and I was like, damn, that's a good looking Pokemon. I wonder what it does. And I realized it was just a dark type Pokemon, so I was like, eh, well, it is what it is, guys. And, well, this pincer right here is uh, growing his, uh, his uh, defense, and, well, this pincer right here, yeah, you're going to get double the attack. So, let's go with a strength attack right here. Dulcim. Bam, hits him, and here comes a seismic toss. Of course, he's going to go with Hadouken, mainly because he's a little heavier than the other Pokemon, and, well, just like that... We have defeated Pinsir. That is awesome. That's fantastic. It's two of the rarest Pokemon. You can actually get them right here. Yeah. I still want to use a Pinsir, mainly for its Mega Evolution and all that stuff. Now, there's the item that we've been looking for. So let's go ahead and grab this little sucker. And bam! We got ourselves the Ultra Ball. And, well, this general area right here is famous for its uh, berries, which we will get to in just a little bit. We just need to battle another, another a duo right here. So let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with Venom this time. Venom. You've been kicking some butt. been taking some names and all that stuff. I believe it was one of the Pokemon that evolved in the last episode, too. I think I had a record of five Pokemon evolved. So that's awesome. I don't think I'll ever achieve that. <laughs> but we done it. And this usually happens like right after the fourth gym or the yeah the fifth gym battle right here. And well, here we have Beautifly and Dust Tuck. So uh, let's go right ahead and speed this up a little. And Strength Attack. There we go, Sludge. Strength. Here we go. And we're gonna beat this guy. And just like that, yes, we win. I don't know why I'm not speeding up just a little bit. Probably because I'm <laughs> I'm getting used to uh, playing this game again. Okay, so they're done. And, again, this is the place for berries. The Berry Master is here, so if you come over, I believe this individual will actually give you an extra berry. So he's like, he, I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one! And bam, get yourselves a Rabuda berry. And why be so stingy? Here we get ourselves a Nomel berry. Don't know exactly what that does, but still, there it is. And, let's see, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy, or this chick, and the way my husband grows berries, oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me so proud that he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard of any good saying lately? Now, I do believe that right here, you, depending on what you say, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, good saying, alright? If you, depending on what you say right here, will affect you trying to find the ever so rare Pokemon Feebas. I am not going to do this because, well, as many of you guys can already tell, I already got myself a water type Pokemon. Yeah, don't really need it right now. 
I wish I, I wish I could be using it right here, but eh, yeah, it will take a lot of work just to try, and have, try to find that Pokemon. So later on, we will try and find them and do something. So let's go right ahead and battle this young lady. And she's like, they say that a good times are filled with good, or good aromas. Okay. So here we go. Taking on Aroma Lady Violet, and she's coming out with a Roselia. So let's go right ahead and do this. Body slam, body slam. There we go. She's coming out with a Gloom. This looks like a jump from Vesuvius. Ember attack. And there we go. We have defeated this person. Yay. Okay, so as you guys can see, there are quite a few berries. Go right ahead and grab them because, yeah, you're going to be needing them. And I'm going to be speeding up this uh, this whole thing right here because, well, one by one, there's a, there's a total of, like, what, six berries? I don't know how to count. Hold on. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, six berries. Yeah, on each side, so... Just make sure to speed this up if you are playing the VBA. If you're playing the regular game, then my bad. And there we go. Grab that, and grab this, and grab that. Okay. So there we go. We got all the berries. Now it is time for us to go start battling again and get to the Wither Institute. So look at this. We're back in Route 118. And we're taking on this guy who loves his bird Pokemon. So bring it. Alright, he's looking like a Goku right here, so he's going to be out with a Wingle. And let's go with a Venom, so let's speed this up a little. Yes, of course we're going to be speeding up all our battles right here because, well, there's a lot of them. And who doesn't like experience points? I don't know. And take flight, my bird Pokemon! Okay. Bring it. Here we go, take it on. Bird Keeper Chester. And he's coming with his Taylo. So let's go with a Sludge. And let's go ahead and switch it out to Vesuvius right here because we do have Rock Slide and that right there wins us the battle. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on and grab this little sucker right here. But unfortunately, our bag is uh, full already. I don't know how that happened. Let's see. I guess I do like to collect stuff. Since we do have a dark type Pokemon, let's go ahead and give the black glasses to our good old buddy Jouse. That's right. Jouse and Macho The Macho Brace could be used for something pretty cool, but I kinda don't want to use it right now. Probably should have sold that. Maybe that. You know what? Screw it. Let's just give the protein to Yeah, let's give the protein to Dalsim. I'm pretty sure that he would appreciate that. Should have sold that. Who is our slowest Pokemon right now? Huh. I'm assuming it's Hadouken, so I'm gonna give this guy right there, and let's give an iron to Hadouken. There we go. And who else? Yeah, we're making some space in our bag. Should have done this off screen. And okay, Everstones. I yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you win too many Everstones. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. And get this to Vesuvius. And grab the Hyper Potion. And that is the way you do things. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on. Battle this guy, and uh, well, going right here. The next Pokemon you'll find is the Zigzag Goon. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, this is not in any like this is not here. In Pokemon Emerald, there is a reason why this particular you know structure is there, and that is for the legendary Pokemon Groudon. Because remember. In Pokemon Emerald, you'll get all three legendary Pokemon right here, which, you know, this is the reason why I like this game so much, because it's very complete. Wish they would go back to that, you know, Pokemon Gray, Pokemon Z, you know, Pokemon Eclipse or something, or what, what's the next thing? I don't know. They kind of dropped the ball on that, I kind of feel, I, well, I actually feel that. Now, here we are in the next route, it is raining, this is the best spot for any kind of water type Pokemon. Any fire type Pokemon will just, you know, will sulk in this whole thing. So let's go right ahead and, uh, yes, take on this individual, the Mimic Crew. And, well, let's see what he's all about. Bug Maniac Donald coming with his Wurmple. So let's go ahead and Leaf Blade our Pokemon right here. He's coming out with a Beautifly. So let's go with Hadouken. Hadouken, double team, Dragon Claw. And we're going to continue right here with this guy because. Yes, we kind of do want to evolve Hadouken into its final form. It's a very, very powerful final form. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves a Super Repel. And talk to this guy. And we will be battling. Okay. Bring it. Let's see what we got. 
Book Catcher Greg, and he's going to be coming out with a Volbeat right here. Let's see what he's all about. Volbeats. There is a band called Volbeat, right? Yeah, there is. Love, I love their song, 10. Well, there we go. We play it for the win. And, well, here he comes with the Lumis. Illumise, or I don't, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. You comment down below and let me know. So let's go right ahead and go with the Sludge Attack. Sludge Attack again, and just like that, we win. Yes, no one can fathom the mustache of my, uh, my good old Venom. And, well, here we're taking on El Elinoon, and, well, we're not going to be doing that right here. So let's see what we got. We got a Mimic Crew right here. They're going to be moving the opposite way of where you're going. And, well, we're going to stay away from that. Let's go. Okay, so let's see what we got. Bugcatcher Kent coming out with his Ninjask. Remember, Ninjask likes to boost his speed. He will be faster than yours, so you guys got to beat it real quickly. So let's go with Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade again, and, well, there we go. Venom grows to level 30. Yes, sir. Okay. What's next? And, well, let's see, let's see. I'm just going to be uh, moving on forward right here. Let's see. I guess a repel would actually work right here. So here we go, step forward, step back, and we, we turn, you turn too. So I guess that's a hobby of these people right here. So let's go right ahead and take on another Bug Maniac. His name is Taylor. Coming out with his Wurmple. Let's go with a good old, uh, yeah, Leaf Blade. And here he comes out with a, a, a Cascoon. So let's, let's see, let's go with Joust right now. Joust, Surf Attack, powered up, yes, coming out with a Dust Talk, and yes. You gotta love this rain, it really does power you up to a little, yes. Okay, so let's see. Yes, a Repel would work. I need to use that right now because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here, so let's see. Uh, let's, go with a, yeah, let's go with a Repel right here. Talk to this guy, and you've got, you finally caught me. Or you try to avoid me. Now I'm here trying to battle everybody because, well, you know, experience points, it, it's what matters. And here we take it on Bug Catcher Doug. Let's go with a Leaf Blade. There we go. And coming out with a Ninjask. Go with Venom right here. Sludge Attack. Sludge Attack again. And just like that, we win. Okay. Venom's kicking some butt right now. And here we have an item. Found ourselves another Hyper Potion. That right there will actually work for us. And here we are taking on this guy, the Mimic Circle Mimic guy. And, well, let us see what this guy is all about. His name is Brent. He's coming out with a Surskit. So, yeah, this Pokemon is going to thrive in this whole this whole uh, environment because I think yeah, it's a Water-type Pokemon. But guess what? We played for the win. Yes, we win. We dominate. All right, let's move on forward. I think that was everybody. Now, you can surf. I would suggest it, guys, because you can, or you will be able to find some, uh, you will be able to find maybe a, well, yeah, I'll find a fisherman right here. You'll find a location for a secret base and an item right here. So let's grab this. Found ourselves a zinc. Definitely a thing, or a, an item that you can use, or you should use, because of other things. And, well, <laughs> you spoke to me, so you want to challenge me. Sure, I'll try out the Pokemon I got while surfing. Oh, so you're not a fisherman or what? No, he's still a fisherman. Okay, so here we are taking on Fisherman Chris. He's coming with a Magic Herb, Leaf Blade away. And he's coming out with a Tentacool, so let's go with Dalsim right here. Dalsim does not have a uh, Psychic type attack, but yes. I don't know what I was going for on that one. Let's go with Joust against the Pokemon that I probably should have gotten because many of you guys were, you know, telling me about it. And here's his pre evolved form, Surf Attack for the win, and there we go. Venom grows to level 31 and is learning Toxic. This move is very, very, uh... This move... This is a very, very important move, and... Oh, uh, Gravy. So... Yeah, I'm gonna take away Amnesia for the time being because, uh... Yeah. Amnesia is going to be used later on, and I will be taking away Rock Smash, but yeah, Amnesia and Toxic are two moves that you probably should have on your Pokemon if you want to make like some statics effects and, you know, some uh, raise some stats right there too. So here we are, getting out of there, and bam. 
Okay, so the repeller has worn off. Talk to this guy. He's like, I thought you fly while catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on to them somehow. But it turns out that there's an HM move called fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. Huh, I wonder why he's saying that. Well, the funny thing is because he caught himself six Wingles. Six of them. Wow, smart. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumored that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? Probably. I don't know. We are we, we do not know. So we're getting out of here. And well, there is an area right here in which you can go to. And I'm gonna move away from that because I don't want to battle these guys. You can find another spot for the secret base. There it is. And here we found some some more berries, which is always awesome. But there are gonna be these uh, these little uh, ledges right here. I want to call them ledges. I would say maybe bridges. Now, if you have yourself the acro bike, you will be able to hop around here. Which, uh, yeah. Now I'm starting to think about it. I forgot about it. So I'm gonna be right back with you guys with the acro bike. I know it's not a lot that you'll find on the other side, but kind of want to get it on, get it out of the way. So I'll be right back with you guys. So, okay, guys. So we are back and we got ourselves the acro bike. So all you have to do now is go through this bridge right here. Press B. You start bouncing and you hit left or right, so let's go right ahead and... Oh, actually, we shouldn't be doing that. We should just press both B and the side button, or the up button, and bam. Bam. Look at that. See? Easy. Now, again, it's not a lot, but you will be able to find yourself another secret base right here. And, well, actually, two places for the secret base. One next to the waterfall, and one next to a big old bush right here. And I think there's a secret item right here somewhere. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Probably? I don't know. No, there's not. So yes, that is the location of two places. And, well, let's go down. Let's go down. And there we go. Okay, so the next place to go to is, well, this person right here is like, Can your Pokemon use its secret power to dig a pile of grass and make it a secret base? And that right there is when you start realizing that, yes, you can make a... Uh, secret base with you know big pile of grass so let's go straight for Hadouken and BAM oh look at you for someone in an adventure you're traveling awfully light what do you mean awfully light oh yeah with the food and all that stuff yeah you see I don't eat I am like literally a machine I don't know why but still and well here we're taking on Pokemon Ranger and well we're gonna be going with a few uh, a few ember, ember attacks, and knowing darn well that I probably shouldn't have been using flamethrowers or anything like that. So, let's go right ahead and go with Venom right here. That will not poison me, but I will body slam you. Yes. And, well, let's continue on with the body slam, and yes, we are paralyzed. Holy crud. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we make the most... Yeah, we make the most mistakes when we're... <laughs> we're speeding up this whole thing right here. So, let's see. We gotta... Heal up our Pokemon. Yes, I used a couple of Pokeballs to capture a few Pokemon. And thankfully, we got ourselves a lava uh, lava cookie right here. And, well, let's see. There is an antidote. And we're going to go with that. And what else? Okay, so we got to heal up our Pokemon too because, well, you know, it's always cool to heal up some Pokemon. So Hadouken, we're not going to use that. And actually, the Super Potion was down there. Okay, holy crud. <laughs> Got to be a little bit more uh, visual on that. So let's go right ahead and move on. Running through this whole thing right here. And we are towards the very end. Here is another Pokemon Ranger, I believe. Who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who. That's right. He's, they're, they're better than the Power Rangers, I believe. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Pokemon Ranger Jackson. And he's coming out with one of my all-time favorite Pokemon, Breloom. I am extremely jealous because, well, I can't use that Pokemon on, on my team because I already got myself a grass type. And just like always, the King of Paralysis is here. Mm hmm. And, well, we get our stuff registered through this guy. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon yet again. Let's see. Paralysis heal. You gotta love those guys. And let's get to, let's get to moving right here with another Pokemon. And here we are, we're going to be encountering a Kecleon. They're going to become pesky pretty soon here. 
And yes, a double battle. Yes. Why don't we take on uh, the double battle right here? So let's just continue on with these Pokemon. So here we go. Wherever and whenever I may be, I always have my person, my parasol in hand. I'll show you the true potential of me and my bird Pokemon. Okay. All right. So here we go. Taking on the, uh, well, taking on these two right here. Dragon Claw, Strength. There we go. And there you go. Kick it some butt. Take it some names. And just like that, Golding has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. What now? What now? Alrighty. Yes, we're kicking some butt right now. And, well, we're getting a phone call, and it's Lau. Yes, I do not care, Lau. Here we go. Found ourselves another hyper potion. Now, here's the funny thing, okay? You guys see these little muddy patches right here? Well, this is the reason why we need the mock bike, because, well, Acrobite cannot go through this. So, we're gonna have to go the long way where there are so many more Pokemon. And, yes, while you guys are. Uh, while we were away. Try to get some more items and all that stuff. Yes, I did ca caught myself a Tropius around here, trying to fill up the Pokédex. And, well, we got quite a few more trainers to go, but before that, grab ourselves an Elixir. Hello. And, well, I'm gonna go right here because I want to battle both these trainers. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with Vesuvius. And... You know what, let's go... Yeah, let's go with Delcium right here, okay? So let's go right ahead. Let's bring it on. If you're not on the guard, you're in for some pain. Oh, I like kid trainers. Let's have a good one. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. We're digging on some more trainers. Let's go right ahead. And speed this up a little, because they will have the regular Pokemon. We're gonna go with uh, Rock Slide. Let's go with Calm Mine and not do anything about it. Let's just let Vesuvius take all, of, all the glory right here. And yes, we're going to be doing this whole thing again. Let's go with Rock Slide. And let's go with Bulk Up. There we go. Rock Slide, Bulk Up. There we go. Rock Slide, Bulk Up. Yes, we are not doing anything because Dalsim likes to uh, mooch, up, mooch off of everybody's success right here. So... There it is. We win, and well, let's see. We do have one more trainer right around here, so let's see. I I do. I am looking at. I am looking at one Pokemon in particular. I kind of. I'm kind of leaning towards getting an electric uh, Pokemon, if you know, if that's the case. I don't even know, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get an electric type Pokemon? It's all up to you. And if so, I'm assuming get Raiden back, give it a little bit of a, a, a what was it called, a, a, a good ending since in the last Pokemon Emerald walkthrough we replaced him with, uh, who's his name? Oh yes, Noob Saibot. Alrighty, let's go Body Slam, and just like that, we're going to be switching it up to Dalsim right here, and Dalsim is going up against Atropius. Believe it or not, Atropius is a flying type Pokemon too. And all see him grows to level 38. Yes, sir. Taking some butt, taking some names. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and move on. And, well, look at that. We have reached our final destination. And this place has been locked out because, well, unfortunately, the Weather Institute has been taken over. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be going up against Team Aqua and the Weather Institute. We'll be taking care of business right there. And, uh, yeah. We shall see what happens. I don't know. Something new might happen. Thank you guys again for being patient. And, uh, and as always, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.